Tuesday, February 1st, 2021. My name is Christopher Saunders, and this is the Connecticut Sports Talent Show, where we talk all things talent in Connecticut. And on today's show, I'm pleased to have a returning guest on the podcast, Brady Lafferty, who is was the quarterback at Southington, and now he will be playing at UNH in the fall. Brady, thanks so much for being able to come on. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem, man. I think it's great to be able to get you behind here to be able to kind of talk about your commitment and the process. First and foremost, I just want to ask, how is your family doing? Oh, they're doing great. You know, they're ecstatic with my choice. Uh, they would have been happy anywhere I went, but, you know, when I got the call from Coach P and I uh, down to talk to them, you know, we were all happy and came that we came up with uh, New Haven School, so we're excited, excited for that. Now, as far as the process as, you know, looking at it from, and there's multiple sides to it, First, I kind of want to go over the side of the recruitment side. I know the article that you did with Sean McFarland about how difficult it was to get looked at because of the lack of tape. How was that for you through the process? So it definitely, I, I was more fortunate than most people just because of the, the independent three game season we had. But even with that, it was still tough. You know, a lot of uncertainties with recruiting, like uh, are they going to take a kid from Connecticut or they're going to take a kid from, you know, down south or playing their senior season. So, just, you know, thank enough to end up at a great program like New Haven. So the play for my football or in my shop, but continue my football and academic career. Now looking at the side of kind of, you talk about being able to play a couple games and such, was there anything that maybe you were able to add on with that tape that kind of maybe push it forward a little bit more to draw as much interest as you did? I uh, certainly think it did. I've had a few coaches reach out to me and say they have saw an improvement from my senior film to junior film. So definitely thankful enough for that to have coaches, you know, realize that and, you know, uh, look into me more for recruiting. So that definitely helped. Now, when you were looking at different schools, was it more, I mean, did it matter as far as if it was in Connecticut or if it was outside, what were you looking for as the next place for not just your playing career, but also your academic side as well. So I didn't really have uh, a preference on to stay in CT or stay go out of CT. I just wanted to find a school that was, you know, the best for me per se and have a really good team for me to play on and have a great academics uh, side as well uh, with New Haven, for sure. So what drew you to the University of New Haven? Because I know I've done a couple games there, not for football, but for baseball and softball and as far as the athletic center, the, the fields are beyond beautiful. And it, it kind of just seems to me that there's, there's something there that can really draw, you know, talented players to the, you know, UNH. And it seems like it drew you there. So definitely, you know, like the blue field is awesome. They have a great scoreboard, like the only one in the conference that, you know, had or is able to show like, uh, like, you know, pregame uh, a movie sort of like an introduction to the players, which I thought was really cool, but one thing that was uh, uh, brought me more into it, uh, that I was accepted into it other than my football. Uh, so I was uh, accepted into New Haven just on like my academics, which I, uh, which I thought was really uh, good for me. And uh, I was given uh, a scholarship just for it. And then after that, the coaches uh, started recruiting me. Well, they were kind of recruiting for that, but more, more so after. And um then uh, once, yeah, once I got into school, got down to the campus and visited, you know, that's when they uh, gave me the offer. So I just, that's, that's what uh, brought me more closer to school and uh, started considering more. Now, what were the conversations like as they were recruiting you? Because I'm sure there were selling points, there were pitches that they got to really, I mean, I know the field you mentioned was one to be able to sell you also the scoreboard as well. But what were the conversations like? Because I'm sure you were asking like, because obviously you being able to play is most important, but you want to get on the field. So I'm sure that yeah. was a part as well. It was. And uh, New Haven has a good situation for me. I feel like we're back. Uh, they're looking to just bring in one quarterback this year. And uh, you know, that's me. So I feel like it's a, I feel like New Haven's uh, would be the best place for me to be successful for sure. No, I uh, don't can't forget uh, coach P's, uh, you know, amazing offense, you know, in the any 10 conference. And uh, they're always a dominant force in that conference as well. Now, what kind of offense for people that may not know, I know, I know, you know, but people who may not know the University of New Haven's style of offense, what do they run to be able to, in your eyes, that you feel like you can run that just as well? 
you know, they run us in my eyes, they run a similar offense uh, at Southington as well. You know, they like to get the field uh, out of his own scheme and uh, get the ball out in the field. You know, the, a lot of RPO reads for like a run pass option. So, you know, I can either, you know, hand the ball off or, you know, spread the ball in the field, throw it out and, you know, make my receivers play on the ball. So I feel like I can, you know, definitely be successful in that style of offense. I really believe kind of, and looking at it for different sports, just, you know, since we're talking about football, I, I truly believe that, you know, when you look at a college, you want to feel comfortable as far as if you feel comfortable, you feel like it's the one, but as far as an athlete coming from the football side, like a quarterback, for example, you want to go where the offense suits you. You don't want to, if you're a running quarterback, you don't want to be a strictly pocket passer because that's not something you're great at. You know, you're, you know, the ability of a running quarterback is to use his legs, get outside the pocket and buy time for his receivers. I think for you to know what kind of offense that suits you. And you just alluded to the fact that the UNH offense is similar to Southington. It, kind of in some ways, in my opinion, you can, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it lessens the time it takes you to get up to speed. And that will give you more time on the field. Oh, for sure. Like coach Sturry does a great job preparing uh, for the next level. You know, since my sophomore year, when he, he was uh, started coaching me, I, uh, you know, he uh, buried it in our heads that uh, pre preparation is going to get you on the field the uh, fastest. So, you know, when I go to freshman year in New Haven, I'm going to study the play. It's says, you know, so I get on the field as fast as I can. Was there anything that was talked about? Because I'm sure, obviously, your strengths were mentioned. Was there any, and I don't want to say weaknesses, but was there anything that they felt like, here are things that you can improve on so that you can be the, the best player and reach the highest ceiling that you possibly can at UNH? They didn't exactly uh, give me anything to work on, per se, but I know myself that you know, I can definitely be a lot quicker in the pot in my footwork. Um, this summer I did worked a lot on my speed, like, uh, for rolling out of the pocket. And I, def I feel like it definitely showed in my senior year, but for sure, definitely, you know, get my drop, uh, drop back set and they're, they're all the like, crisp stuff. So I can be ready for the college level. That's awesome, man. You know, congratulations on being able to have an opportunity at UNH. I have one more question for you. As far as going forward, I understand with the pandemic and everything that's going on. I'm sure that's not something that's thought about and we can't predict what's going to happen down the road, but has that ever kind of creeped your mind about how possibly it could affect the fall season in any way? So not, I'm trying my best not to let get him right now. I'm just, you know, make sure I'm prepared going to work out and uh, my mind off that as much as I can. So that's good, man. You know, but Hey, congratulations on being able to get accepted into UNH. You know, I saw the amount of tape and what you were putting out, doing as much as you can to get looked at. And finally you were rewarded. And I know when I talked to you, what, what, you know, what felt like months ago, man, you just said, yeah. I just wanted a shot. I want an opportunity. And the article that, you, you know, came out with Sean McFarlane about, I just, you know, it's hard to get looks and, and it's, 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 you know, it's, it's a difficult time, but you got the offer, you accepted it. And now you have an opportunity to play, man. So congratulations to you. Thank you so much, Chris. No problem. That wrap things up here in the Connecticut sports talent show. So until next time, stay safe. And remember, CT stands for Connecticut Talent. I'm on a journey to find them all. Have a good one, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day.